because my ex-husband is suing me uh, for an op-ed I wrote. And how do you feel about that? I, um, I st struggle to have the words. I struggle to find the words to describe how uh, painful this is. Um, this is horrible for me to sit here uh, for weeks and um, relive everything. Um, hear people that I knew, um, some well, some not. My ex-husband, with whom I shared a life. Um, speak um, about our lives in the way that they have. Um, this has been one of, the, this is the most painful and difficult thing I've ever gone through. He had said he was joking because it didn't hurt it didn't physically hurt me I was just sitting there on this on, on this carpet looking at the dirty carpet wondering how I wound up on this carpet and why I was never why I never noticed that the carpet was so filthy before and I just didn't know what else to do I didn't know what to say I didn't know how to react I just sat there thinking how much time do I have to I figure out what I need to do because God, did he just hit me? No, I didn't want to leave him. I didn't want this to be the reality. I didn't want to have the man I was in love with. I know you don't come back from that. You know, I'm not dumb. I, I know you can't hit a woman. I, you can't hit a man. You can't hit anyone. You can't just hit somebody because they, I knew there was no, I knew it was. Please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the judge, See what the jury and judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them, Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, man, I, I am a victim of people's domestic violence. And yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. And see how many people believe or side with you. And what did you say in response when Miss Heard said, tell the world, Johnny, tell them, Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, I'm a victim too of domestic violence? I said, yes, I am. Um, there is a scale specific to intentional exaggeration on that test, and Ms. Heard was in the 98th profile, 98th percentile, meaning that she is, uh, she she had engaged in extreme levels of exaggeration. At itself, the second, and this is reflected. Your in Honor, the if I could finish my argument, I mean, I, 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 I would appreciate. Okay, I, I can't wait the, to oppose this. I, that's so. fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, so, Mr. Depp was trying to urinate in the floor here, wasn't he? No. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Depp had his penis out of his pants. Objection. Pants, didn't he? I think I would have made Relevance. Mr. Depp's penis. I'll uh, <laughs> Next question. And you were trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house, correct? Correct, I was trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house, yes. And Mr. Depp... I think uh, Jack Sparrow was more drunk than Johnny Depp. Did I read that right? Yes, but you that, that, that was you need question, to find the term. If I read that right, sir. Now, part of the services that you provide, that your firm provides to Mr. She's giving you gifts over $8,500, correct? $8,500? Yeah. You give me a lot more than that. Okay. And you're loyal to Mr. Depp, right? You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me 
he sustained an injury on one of his... Objection, here's, hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay, he said he sustained an injury to his finger. Yes. But you don't know what caused the injury to his finger. One of There's nothing wrong with wanting to spend time with your friends at a music festival after being abused by your husband, right? What abuse? I was saying, do you really you think someone's trying to get into your unit? There's scratches like four inches above your the floor and your door. That was the dog trying to get into the unit. And they were so afraid. Oh, someone's trying to get into my unit. They're like, oh, come on, really? We don't have cameras in the videos. I'm um, sorry, we don't have cameras in the hallway. We don't have cameras on the hallway. I'm gonna so. The incident was May 21st. Um, I didn't realize at the time, but I think he was using cocaine because it was like there was a jar, a jar of cocaine out on the table. I, re I realize that sounds weird, but it's like a, an actual vintage jar of it. I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt, and guess what's inside it? I knew there was no, I knew it was wrong, and I knew that I had to leave him. And that's what broke my heart, because I didn't want to leave him. I thought if I got up out of that room, I would leave the best thing that ever happened to me. And I wish I could sit here and say I stood up and I walked out of that house and I drew a line and I stood up for myself. I was just looking at the dirty carpet trying to will myself to get up.